Hi guys. This is part of the reason why I haven't had much uh, radio content lately. Uh, my in-laws are moving down to South Carolina from New Hampshire. And I've been helping out with that and helping the woman that owns the house that they're buying. Uh, helping her clean out a bit. She was uh, having a yard sale. And I bought all these items from her, including that extension cord. A uh, bunch of bed frames, drill press, and a toolbox. I spent $150 for everything that you see there. Uh, minus the piles of wood and rags on the side. And, but the, the toolbox, the drill press, the electric weed whacker, a uh, 100-foot, 14-gauge uh, extension cord to use with the weed whacker, and a bunch of bed frames. There's still one more bed frame, but it's kind of rusty, so <laughs> I know the rusty one shouldn't be outside, but it is outside. Uh, these are going to get all cut up. I don't need bed frames. I need the angle iron. Uh, if you guys are like me and like to build stuff, oh, bed frames are a, a great thing to have around. The, the angle iron can work for many, many uses. Let's uh, go in closer and I'll show you around the toolbox and show you what's in the toolbox. All right, let's start at the top of the toolbox. There's some neat stuff in here. This is one of those uh, impact socket. Oh, it's a, if you got a nut that's really stuck, what a better socket. You got a nut that's really stuck, you put this on there and whack it with a hammer. And you give it a little push and a turn, it's for one direction. Push and a turn again, it's for the other direction. That's a, a cool tool to have. When you got those stubborn bolts that just won't break free. Oh, let's see. Can you see all of these? We got a whole bunch of deep sockets. It's a mixture. There's all kinds of different brands in here. Uh, this one here. I don't even see a company name. Oh, Crescent. And there's some Craftsman and some, some others. We got a magnifying glass. Got a couple of torque wrenches. Got a basic half-inch drive torque wrench in here and a nice quarter-inch drive uh, inch-pound torque wrench that's a, a a nice tool it's all free and works pretty well I've already tried this out oh let's see what else do we have in here let's move those aside for now there's a few more ratchets in here uh, that one is a, a pretty neat one. There's no company name on it. It just says, well, actually it is. It's Proto. Uh, nice ratchet, though. And this one is a, a Bonnie. Made in USA. Most of the tools that are in here, I've noticed, are made in the USA. A lot of wrenches. There's uh, quite a few of them around. Some miscellaneous stuff, garden hose attachment. Uh, there's a, a multi-tool in here. And we got a, a flaring kit. A flashlight, a roadside old-time flashlight with the, the red dot. And it's clear on the end. The red dot, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll light up red. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think the batteries are going to look like? They, they look like rechargeables. Oh, oh, I just sent the bulb flying. I'll get that later because I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on. It is a rechargeable. You know what? I'm going to pause you for a second and we'll get that bulb. <laughs> well, that wasn't easy to find. It took off. <laughs> So used to modern flashlights with the LED bulbs that just stay put when you take it apart to change the batteries. And I think I cross-threaded that. Maybe not. It looks crooked. I did. Now it's nice and straight. Oh, what else do we have in here? We got a a nut driver set with screwdrivers. Tiny little things. Were they made by Exolite? 
Oh, now I can't close it. <laughs> I think this one may be tricky to close. What if we just go quick? There we go. A Lufkin 16 foot tape measure. Some more wrenches. What else we got? Oh, look at that. A nice tubing cutter. Oh, that's a really nice one. That will get used. What else we got? We got a grabber thing. Push the button. More sockets, some swivels, a couple of swivels. One of them's kind of tight. One of them is really loose. Oh, another. Oh, that's a socket swivel. Oh, a few of them in here. There's another one. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like somebody made something. They ground down an extension and cut it off. I don't know what the point of that is. We'll keep it around, though. You never know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was factory made that way. I think somebody custom ground this to become a, a, a wobble extension. It allows the socket to to move around. There's a, there's a few extensions in here. A couple more. We're still only on the top of this thing. Alright, let's move down to one of the drawers. Or we'll go down to the set of three small drawers. Oh, you may even have a better point of view with this one. Let's start with this one first. We got a bunch of putty knives, uh, paint can openers, some razor blades, more paint can openers, a glass cutter. One of the uh, razor blade scrapers. More razor blades. What was that? Oh, another razor blade knife. <laughs> Make sure that's going to close again. We have more wrenches. Some screwdriver bits. Well, that's good because I needed some number twos. That looks in pretty good shape. There's another one. A bunch of tips in a holder. Another one of those. And a quarter inch drive extension. Another quarter inch drive extension with a socket. Some quarter inch swivels. A ratcheting quarter inch drive nut driver. Isn't that kind of cool? Needs a little bit of oil. Well, I'm not sure what you'd need this for. I don't see any way to change the direction. It can loosen something and have a ratchet. If you know what that is, tell me in the comments. What else we got in here? Oh, we got a little inspection mirror. Telescopic. It's for when you drop that nut. Oh, you, you know there's one more nut holding on the back of the transmission. You can bring that in there and... Well, maybe. It doesn't like to stay up. <laughs> If I let it go, it just falls. <laughs> but that's for seeing around a bend. And the last of the three small draws. We have light bulbs, fuses. We can draw some circles. What's that? We have a corkscrew. Isn't that a weird little tool? That looks like it hinges, but it don't move. Oh, that can't hinge. It hits against itself. I'm not sure what that's for either. All right, back in the drawer you go. 
And we got some pens. And a test light. And some nice metal rulers. There's a couple of them in there. Look at that thin one. Double sided. Oh, that's a yeah, it's a magnet. And feeler gauges. And a few of them. You can use these for all kinds of stuff. You can even grab a few together for spark plug gap. There's a few different ones in here. All right, let's move on to the drawers below that. Let me get these ratchets out of the way. We were on this drawer. I've looked through this drawer a little bit already, and you can tell that it was an older guy that owned these tools. The majority of the screwdrivers are flatheads. Almost every one you pick up is a flathead. <laughs> I think there may have been... Uh, just a couple of Phillips heads in here. But there's some interesting ones. I mean, yeah, it's just a flathead screwdriver. But it's a T-handle. Or a regular screwdriver. We got a couple of the, the bent ones. Of course, flathead. Flathead. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, almost every one. Look, one down in the front that I can't see. Flathead. Flathead. <laughs> oh, get that flashlight out of the way, too. Ah, oh, I guess he kept the Phillips head screwdrivers in a different drawer. We got a Phillips head, a Phillips head, a Phillips head. Yep. That was. This is his whole collection of flathead screwdrivers, and those are the Phillips head. I mean, all. With a really short, short end. And a few adjustable wrenches. Now there was an adjustable wrench here that... Where is it? There's a double-ended one. Maybe we haven't come to that yet. Must be in the next draw. From Plastic Wrench. What does that say? Real men don't need instructions. We don't need them, but you should read them anyway. Before we close that, yep, Phillips head draw. It was the last screwdriver in there. I didn't check it. Pliers. Oh my goodness. Look at all the pliers. There's still one more set of pliers, but I brought that set in the house immediately because they were super cool. I'll try and get them back out here and get them onto the video just to show you. But let's see. What do we got? We got a nice brake tool for doing uh, drum brakes. Why is that? That's a weird one. Usually that, that part's molded right into the handle. This one's on there and it's got a, a roll pin keeping that on the end. That's for taking the springs off and putting them back on. This set of pliers I thought was pretty neat. You know, sometimes you get into a spot, you know, like if it was, if you had just that and you need to get in there. My hand's probably completely in the way. So if you couldn't open it much, I just thought those were neat. They're in good shape too. They're nice and tight. They don't have much wiggle. Got a pair of crimping pliers with the wire cutter on the end. There's a lot of nice pliers in here. See how narrow that jar is. Compare it to a regular set of pliers. We got all kinds of things. A little pair of needle nose, spring loaded. Another pair of needle nose. Those have got a crazy end. It's not really a needle, is it? See that? It's flat. That's interesting. Oh yeah, and it does have the the grip surface on the end. 
Ah, these are uh, snap ring pliers, but the the points are not in it. I think I saw it. Yeah. There's a little box of ends to go into that. More needle nose. Wire cutters. Wire strippers. I don't know what this is. This is a new one to me. Is that for working with springs, maybe? I have no idea. I don't know. Again, tell me in the comments. Tin snips. Uh, for Reese, this is a tool for putting in the... Oh, the spline. The uh, binding uh, rubber strip for uh, screen windows. More tin snips. A little pair of nice little snips. That's a really nice little set. Another one that's snug. Oh, another, <laughs> another set of snap ring pliers that have been reworked. Can you see that? They've been reground. More snap ring pliers. Again, the tip's not in it. That would make sense. There were two sets of tips in that box. And this is the second set we've come across that didn't have tips. And ooh, this one's a weird one. It has a, a stop, an adjustable stop for how wide they'll open up. That's unusual. And more needle nose. More cutting tools. I guess that finishes up the top box. Let me lower you down some, and we're going to go down to the lower drawers now. If my tripod will cooperate here. Here it's squeaking in its oil. All right, you might have a good point of view right there. Let's take a peek. In the top drawer, we have a whole lot of sawdust. And some hammers and chisels and files. Hacksaw, uh, zip ties, a pretty stout puller. <laughs> I don't know what that was used for, but and look at it, it's bent. They put some force on that thing. More zip ties, and look at this hammer. Can you see that the head is not at a 90 degree angle to the handle? It's a weird hammer, and that claw, I don't think, would pull nails very well. I don't know what that one hammer was made for. I've never seen one like it before. Again, down there in the comments, if you know what this hammer was made for, let me know. Because if we put it down there, with the head being plumb, the other end of the handle is touching the surface. It's a weird shape. And we got some electrical tape in here. Oh, we have uh, fence staples. Let's see if I can figure out how to open that. Just the big staples for uh, wire fencing. Or barbed wire or anything like that. A punch. Whew, well used. Oh, there's a few of those in here, huh? Let's go to the next draw. I still haven't seen that adjustable wrench yet that has the double end on it. I'm not sure where I put it or where it was. Got an oil filter wrench, some uh, screw extractors, a nice rivet gun, and some rivets over here. We have another thing that I don't know what this is. There's a piece of plexiglass, and these things are, are slid in to a piece of steel, and they go straight through. I have no idea what this was for. Again, down there in those comments, tell me what the thing with plexiglass is for. Put that aside. Oh, 
Wow, there's a few things in here that I just don't know. Here's another item. What the heck is this thing? It looks like a cord or something would go through there and this would clamp down on it. But for what purpose? Good crazy pipe wrench. That's not really for pipes. It's for, I guess it's an adjustable wrench. It's heavy. It's got some, it's got some mass to it. We got some Allen wrenches, some honing oil. An oil filter wrench that you put on a ratchet. Let's see if we have an extension that does not have the wobble head. Yeah, then you just put a ratchet on that thing. That's pretty good for tight areas. Yeah, you got some some areas you can get this kind of wrench in there, but then you don't have enough room really to turn the handle. Something like that will come in handy. Though it's for small filters. That won't fit even even that one. That one's a small wrench too. And look, this one fits inside of it. All right, last draw. And I still don't see that crazy adjustable wrench. All right, down here. We have a nice half-inch drive ratchet. Who's that made by? Freewheeling ratchet. Keep well oiled. Blackhawk. Made in USA. Ooh, look at that. It's silent. It locks firmly. Let me put a socket on there. It locks firm, but... Listen, can you hear that? I can't hear it either. And this one has, I, I have played with some of this stuff. This one has a neat feature. See, right now, it's on the loosened position. Hold that button and turn it. Now it's on the tighten. Hold the button, turn it, loosen. Turn it, tighten. Actually, you can hold it and keep it locked, too. That's a neat ratchet. I wonder how it works, though. It's silent. There's no gears. All right, on. Well, let's move on. Let's not get stuck on one ratchet. We had a bunch of sockets. At first, I thought these were impact sockets, but I'm not sure. I think they might just be really old and dirty. I could be wrong. They might be impact sockets, as it is. It's a craftsman. <laughs> you expect the socket to look like that. Not like that. Usually when they're black, they're the, uh, the heat-treated, the impact sockets. And speaking of sockets, look at that. Got a couple of extensions. A heavily used swivel. Some sockets that, look at that. Somebody drilled a hole through them. Wait a minute. Where was the screwdriver draw? Why you would need to do this, I don't know, but you can. <laughs> Personally, I think you'd be better off putting a ratchet in the end, but somebody thought it was worthwhile. We got more wrenches. They're already out of here, but there was two 10 millimeter wrenches and two 7 16 wrenches that always seem to be hard to find in my shop. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure where I put them. <laughs> but I took them out because I'm always looking for 7 16 and 10 millimeter. That's an 11. 11 will work. If you can't find your 7 16 11 will work. We have some antifreeze testers with a thermometer. Ooh, look at this one. Comes with a chart that you can move out of your way. <laughs> well, that's a pretty nice one too, isn't it? Both ends turn. Nice tool. I have one of these, but the one I have, the ends, these don't turn on it. Let's see, 
we got a plumb bob and a chalk line and some tire repair tools along with the plugs I'm not sure what that is a sheet of material I don't know maybe fiberglassing I don't know more extensions a breaker bar who's that made by Bonnie another Bonnie tool that Bonnie company made a lot of ratchets and sockets there's a lot of them in here. They were made in USA. All right. Let's move you way down. Way, way down to the bottom. It's a little dark in there, but let's do our best. We have a... This where that adjustable is. Look at that thing. Isn't that unusual? Small adjustable on one end, bigger adjustable on the other end. There's a few uh, unusual items in this collection. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a leather working tool. I don't know. More adjustables. This one was pretty neat. This one... You slide it up and down. It needs oiling, but you slide that, and it also has a, a lock nut on it to lock it in place. That one I thought was pretty neat. Another unusual tool. What the heck are these things for? And again, <laughs> leave me a comment. Tell me what those are for. This was a guy, the gentleman that owned this stuff. I, I'm, he's somebody that I was friends with. Uh, he passed away about two years ago, and he was he was up there in age. He was in his 80s. A lot of these tools he had for a long time. What do we got there? We got a grease gun in the box. Oh, we got another ratchet. That looks just like the one that was up top. Yep, same kind. That one's a little too dirty to read the name, though. Now, the bottom of this box is pretty dirty. Look at that guy. Hoo-wee. That looks just like the quarter-inch one that we saw up top. Don't know. I don't understand why you'd need that. Another grease gun. Couple more breaker bars. I bought the whole toolbox. Everything I just showed you. And the box for a hundred dollars and for another 50 I got the rest of this stuff I got that hundred foot extension cord 14 gauge cord the black and decker weed whacker I even got the uh, the manual for the weed whacker and for the drill press they paid a whopping $27 for that weed whacker back in the late 90s The stool was mine. I already, already owned that. But I got the uh, the drill press. That works well. I've already tried that out. Under the top cover, there's a stack of five pulleys on both this shaft and on the motor. And they're opposite. On this side, the biggest pulley is at, I don't know where, which one I'm looking at now. But the big pulley's on one end and on the opposite end, the big pulley's on the top. So you can move the belt and change the speeds. It's a five-speed drill press. And we got all the bed rails. Again, I'll find many projects to put these to use. Angle iron is always a good thing to have around in the shop. All right, guys. This is part of why I haven't been doing much with the radios lately. It's been uh, tools and helping clean out two houses. The property has two houses on it. One of them was rented out, and oh, what a mess that was left behind. That's a whole nother story, though. All right, guys. Hey, I'll see you next time. Hopefully next time will be some radio content. 73s.